The last thing that I want to show you is how do I uh, make the ball bounce. So when the ball bounces against the ground, it uh, squishes and then bounce back up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first things first, I'm going to take the red ball and I'm going to look into my layers panel in here and I'm going to hide that red ball so that I don't want to see that on my animation. And I'll be working on the blue ball. So right now, this is what we have. So what I want to do is at this position in a blue ball at frame 15, when the ball hits the ground, it squishes a little bit. So I'm going to um, make resize the ball so that it gives that bouncy feeling to it. So in my toolbar, I'm going to click on the third um, tool that is called as free transform tool. So I'm going to click on the transform tool and you'll see a dotted outline. And I'm going to a uh, little bit resize it and make it little smaller. And I'm going to move it little down. And I'm going to do that at frame maybe 13 as well. So at frame 13 or maybe at frame 14. Uh, this looks like a better position because it's just above the ground. So at frame 14, of my blue ball layer and I am going to again resize this. I'm going to do this again in frame 16 in my blue ball layer. Make this a little smaller. And then uh, if I click on frame 10 of my blue ball layer, if I click on the ball and you would see the width is 98 or the height is 98 for the ball. So I'm going to do that same thing whenever the ball hits on the top in here. This is uh, my motion tween, but let's go to my blue ball layer at layer 20 and um, let's click on layer 20. Let's click anywhere outside in the state so that I deselect everything. I'm going to click on layer 20 and I'm going to make sure I click on that ball and I'm going to make sure that the width of that ball is 98 and the height is 98. So when the ball is up in the air, it's the same size originally. So it only resizes when it's hitting the ground. So again, at this position in here, and I'm going to resize the ball so that it gives that uh, feeling of bouncing, uh, squishing the ball. And just before that frame 25, I can do it at frame 24, and I'm going to resize it again. And I'm going to do it again at frame uh, 27, and I'm going to resize it again. And at frame 30, we keep it same, 35. Again, we are going to resize it, make it a little smaller. And uh, I'm going to move this ball a little down. And I'm going to click on frame uh, 31 or 32. My frame numbers may or may not be same as yours, but I'm going to make sure that I select that ball and I'm going to select the size. The height is 98 and the width is 98. And again, I'm going to resize the ball a little bit. And I'm going to bring the ball a little down. And I'm going to do resizing of the ball again a little bit. And in here, the ball size becomes again 98. And 98. So, uh, Hopefully this will give us kind of uh, a bouncy effect to the ball. So whenever it hits the ground, let's test it. Testing time.